What's up, guys? Ace Killers here. Uh, I have a free for all match on High Rise, and I'm using the M9 Silencer with Scavenger, Lightweight, and Ninja. And uh, I used all these perks for a certain reason, obviously. Scavenger so I can pick up ammo, Lightweight so I can get in range of people because I'm using a pistol. And I like to use Ninja so I can hear them and track down, track down the enemies. And here I get first kill, and obviously in free for all match, right? I spawn. I la I actually like to look around because there's usually another person spawning within 40 feet of where you spawned. So I get that kill, and here I'm just looking for other people. I kill that guy, and he probably just spawned because no one usually sits around there. And uh, this whole building is basically a spawn point. So, it's pretty hard to manage a building, but see right there, I get commando stabbed. But, and as you see, he spawns, which is a problem in this game. But, it's not just the spawning, it's the commando and all that stuff. But, uh, anyway, my kill streak setup is 6, which is the precision airstrike, 7, the harrier strike, and 9, the stealth bomber. I, this uh, kill streak setup just uh, dominates with uh, airstrikes. So I use it every once in a while. It's actually really good in Wasteland. It works very effective. And here I'm just trying to patrol this building. I get a couple kills. And then I'm thinking of, uh, of uh, shutting down their options for when they spawn. But And I actually follow through that. But... Now I decided to actually run under, and I should have gotten killed there, but that was just an awareness fail by the other guy. And another thing I like to mention is that in this game, and in any, no, specifically in this game, actually, uh, you can only plant up to two claymores. Otherwise, if you try to plant a third one, it will plant, but... The one you planted first will actually explode, which I see no point in. So, you know, obviously if you try to plant claymores to trap them, but just having a minimum, I mean a maximum of two claymores is just, you know, just messed up. I actually have to use claymores because it just, it's like free kills. I mean, I don't throw Semtexes every now and then, and, you know, actually claymores just guard me if I want to, like, garden area especially in free-for-all you want to have claymores even if you're running and you're not just like a garter uh when you're running you sometimes want to plant random claymores just in case there's a, a person following you so it just always helps and uh actually i, I started to use the m9 as a uh weapon I, I use it as a primary weapon now because my friend David, you know, he brought it up to me. I mean, I was at a, I was uh, hanging out with him one day. I see him playing a little uh, domination as here I get my precision strike. And uh, I, I see him and I see him just with the FMJ. I see him just taking out the entire team. And I'm like, how do you do that with just a pistol? He was like, it's a very good pistol. It's, you know, it's nasty. I'm like, Wow. You know what? I should try it. So when I got home, not that day, not that night, but uh, later later on, uh, the week after, I actually decided to try it out. Uh, in the beginning, to be honest, it really wasn't the best. I actually hated it at first. I thought that he was crazy for using the pistol, but then... As I started to use it gradually and gradually, you actually start to get really good with the gun. Like, I use it with uh, FMJ normally, but especially for free-for-all, since you want to stay stealthy, uh, I would prefer the uh, silencer with it. This is actually my first game using the uh, the M9 silencer, so I was pretty surprised that I got such a good score, in my opinion. So Here I call my stealth bomber. I get one kill. And I get a double kill here. Try to get a little cheap uh, half across the map shot, but it doesn't work. And uh, 
yeah, I'm just guarding this area. And that's just basically how it is. Sorry I'm not talking about the game, you know, a little as much as I should be. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, present myself and, you know. And here I uh, catch a guy. And uh, one, la one of the uh, key points in really being successful in this game is to have a a Bluetooth headset. Like, I use the uh, Turtle Beach P21 as I play PS3. And believe me when I say this, if you have Ninja on, you hear the enemies when they're close to you. That's why I prefer Ninja. And especially if you have a mic, you need Ninja. And here I get commandoed again, which I thought actually it was Ninja. But for some reason, the Infinity War decided to... Uh, Increase the knifing range, which I personally do not like. Uh, because sometimes you just get knives from 20 feet, even though they don't have commando. And if they have commando, just imagine, you, you, they can knife from 40 feet away. It's just unfair. So, uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, my uh, PlayStation name is Black Zorro, B L A C underscore. Z zero R zero five seven, just in case you guys would like to add me, uh, I'll be accepting all friend requests on a first come first served basis, and uh, yeah, that's just the way it's gonna go. And uh, uh, I'm gonna start this uh, new thing that uh, me and my friends will actually go into parties and play private matches for every. 200 subscribers that I get, so, yeah, we, we'll play Search also, we'll, you know, just have a good time with the game, uh, anyway, I got my third death just, uh, a while ago, and now I'm just trying to, uh, get to the same spot that I was before, because I was so very successful at it, and, as I plant my claymores, uh, I'm just basically doing the same thing as I normally did in the match. Just patrolling. I get a pretty nice kill right there. As for the range, especially for a pistol. I see a guy running, so I take him out. And, uh, and I've noticed that people have started to use last stand a lot now. It's really surprising. And it can get really annoying at times, especially when you run out of ammo. And I see someone on my map right now, so that's why I'm just seeing if they're going to come in. But just in case they do, I plant the claim more. And I uh, try to get back to the spot that I was at before. And I think right about now, I get the claymore kill that I just planted. Yep, right there. And this is not the same area, but either way... Uh, just patrol a building. And I catch that guy over there. And I'm thinking right now that I should probably go to the other place because I'm more accustomed to it. So I'm trying to get to the other uh, place as that's my uh, place of desire, basically, as you might call it. Some guys, I catch him on the radar sniping, so I just take him out with the pistol as he's trying to get to his spot. I'm going to reload, but I double tap the triangle and get a uh, pretty lucky kill over there. Someone is behind me. That's the Claymore thing that I talked about a couple minutes ago, and I get that kill. I get that kill, and I feel all on fire right now, it was just at the moment. And there's this challenge that I really wanted to get, which is get a game-winning kill cam with a precision airstrike. And I was just right here hoping that I'll get it. But unfortunately, I didn't. So I was a little pissed. But then this guy comes. And that's the game right there. 30 and 4 is the final score. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, here's the game winning kill cam. Get a little lucky. But what can I say? Take the good and the bad. And the luck. And that's what basically it goes to. Anyway, thanks for watching.